one of the most delicious dinners that you will ever have. A beautiful, high quality, domestic leg of lamb, roasted whole. This is a boneless leg. I am going to actually roast this on a rack in my oven so I get browning and caramelization all over the leg. First thing that I wanna do, put my rosemary, I wanna put my dill, beautiful oregano leaves, leave those whole, minced garlic, salt and pepper. And by the way, you wanna use mint and cilantro, go right ahead. You wanna use basil and oregano, go right ahead. I happen to like this combination because I'm doing a traditional Greek roasted leg of lamb with an avgo limono sauce, an egg and lemon sauce. And I have a little bit of oil here. I'm gonna take my fork, I'm gonna mix this all up. The salt and the oil and the acid from the garlic is already starting to break down those herbs a little bit. I can smell them. And this is gonna be my rub, but it's also gonna be an herb mixture that I'm gonna put into the lamb itself. And I'm just gonna stab this. I'm gonna rub this all over my lamb. This is going to aromatize and create a lovely crust on our lamb. And then I'm going to take little fingerfuls. I'm gonna make sure I have enough of a hole. And I'm going to stuff this mixture right into the meat itself. And I don't like to skip any, which is why I always count how many places I stab this meat. So I'm gonna want this to go crosswise in our oven so it cooks evenly. Over to the oven we go. So you can see our lamb is fitted into the middle of the oven. And the most important thing that I wanna do is make sure that that rack is seated nicely below it. I wanna cook this to about 145 to 155 degrees internal temperature, 10, 12 minutes a pound, and this is about a seven, eight pound leg of lamb. So while my lamb is resting, we're gonna make our sauce. It really is about the drippings. A little bit of oil is gonna emulsify into this sauce thanks to the liaised eggs, but you very slowly wanna tip away the fat. I have some light stock here. I'm gonna set this over the burner, get all of those brown scrapey bits off my pan. Look at this now, deep and rich and lamby. And we're just gonna heat that up. We're gonna add our white wine, a tablespoon of our lemon juice, and we're gonna let that reduce by about half. In this bowl here, while that's reducing, pinch of salt, two tablespoons of lemon juice, my eggs. And I'm gonna whisk those together. I'm also gonna mince my dill. We're gonna put that in at the last minute. So all of that fresh dill flavor goes in there. All right, so. I have very hot liquid here. I have room temperature, eggs and lemon juice here. So a really thin stream. So even as it drops from my cup measure into my eggs, it tempers those, it just makes them warmer. It doesn't set them. Once you're successful throwing that first quarter cup in, bombs away with the rest. And then this mixture goes back into my pan. So now all I'm doing is warming this up and allowing those eggs to set my sauce. Dill. Our lamb has been resting, so it's time to slice it, plate this thing with some root vegetables, add all of our delicious sauce to it, and have dinner. These are some carrots, celery, onions, and leeks that we just rubbed with a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, threw in a sheet pan, and roasted at 475 degrees until they looked like that. The perfect kind of accompaniment. The nice thing about a boneless leg of lamb is that it's not uniform in shape. And why is that nice? Well, if you're trying to please a crowd, some people like rare, the center of this top round will probably be in between rare and medium rare, and some people like well done. Oh, look at that. Do you see where our garlic and herb went into that slit? There it is right there. And when I cut into it, I actually smelled it before I saw it. Somebody likes their meat more on the rare side. Just slice down into the top round, a little bit more on the medium rare, medium side. Just slice down here into the fatter part of the muscle, and you will see that you have that beautiful 
medium with that blush of pink there that to me is the hallmark of Gigo Roti. And with lamb this good is just delectable. Wow, is that perfect. I don't know what's better, the roasted leeks and carrots in this whiny, lemony egg sauce or the lamb itself. Mm. I lied, the lamb itself.